Yeah, so, okay, I'm recording as well. Oh god. So how should we how should we fucking start this off? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well first Jeez. we got we gotta sync it up, so Okay. I we have to do the one two one two thing. Alright, I'll be one. Okay, I'll be two. Alright, you start. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Peace. One. Peace. None, but I'd suck a fart out of her ass. I'd suck, I'd suck a fart out of her ass. I don't think I would. <laughs> so I'd suck a fart out of her ass. <laughs> oh lordy! All right, I need to need to turn down the gain on this just a bit. So, if I were to talk like this, it wouldn't be as uh, peaking. All right, that looks good. Peaking duck. Peking. Peking chicken. There's a there's a place by my pl- by my house called Peking Chicken, and we used to call it Peking Chicken. We were we were twelve at the time. <laughs> this was last week. <laughs> yeah, this is a- shit. Damn it, he knows. <laughs> Damn it, I know. <laughs> Damn it, I know. So, uh, so let's ju- let's just uh, recite the entirety of Nun Peace. Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Uh, yo. Enter a scene. <laughs> Fucking dreaming. Luffy. Don't give it up, Luffy. Dreaming. Don't give don't it up, give it Luffy. Luffy. Dreaming. <laughs> don't give it up, Zoro. Akuma, man. Oh God. So, welcome, guys. <laughs> this this space is locked up show. tighter than a nurse's miniskirt or a librarian's miniskirt. The fuck you looking at? God damn it. This is this is gonna be terrible again, and the 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 thing is that this will actually get done instead of fucking Daddy's Dungeon One, which oh, I can't hurt, recover. That hurt worse than teeth in a beef portal, but I'm okay. Jesus Christ! It's it's oh teeth God. in a beef portal. <laughs> oh my God, that's terrible. It is terrible. We're both terrible. So both terrible. So, uh, where's John and Tori? I don't fucking know. Tori ha- is having a life somewhere, and John is, like, building gunplay or something. That sounds about right. Uh, so I guess it's just... just you and me, Tom. Yeah, so, this is Daddy's Dead in Part 2. What happened to Part 1? Don't fucking ask. I have. Tom <laughs> saved in an FLV format, and Maybe. that doesn't ever work. You should not do that ever again, Tom. Meh. Hey, John, it's not my fault John has, like, a shitty computer and doesn't know how to use Audacity. It's true. <clears throat> but, yeah, guys, uh, fucking John and Tori aren't here, so it's just me and Ryan today. Woo! So, uh, we're gonna talk about We should instead call this Sexy Cast, because we're both S- sexy bitches. Sexy Cast. Mm. Hello there, Tom. Welcome to Asthma. Oh, God, Asthma. no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? I'm just going to cut your hair real quick. Snip, snip, snip. I'm going to have this old wrapper, a Taco Bell burrito wrapper. I'm going to rustle a little bit. <laughs> have you seen the fucking people who open those <laughs> snack boxes and they like eat the food with it? No. And just have like that munch inside the mic. It's like... <laughs> No, no, I, I don't watch that. That sounds terrible. It is terrible. I was really considering because my ex girlfriend really hated ASMR. I was really it considering. Sounds like a bitch. Mind you, I'm <laughs> out with her. I was really considering of just sounds making like a, a whole fucking ASMR. Cunt. Wait, I can't say that. You can say whatever you want on Daddy's Dungeon. All right. No one watches us. Yeah, I mean, Fred, maybe. Except that one guy that commented on an episode was like, I watch this in the background. I was like, oh, that's so nice. Hey, this one's for you, guy. I love This you. one's for you, guy. Thanks for being awesome and watching our shit. Or listening to our shit while you're working. Yeah. If, you, if you're working and you have this on full blast, um, mm, penis. Mm. The guy listening to this in the office likes penis. Tom likes Pete. No, not Tom. That's your Damn name. It. Uh, Jeff not likes again. penis. Yeah, Jeff. He'd be really. Uh, he'd be like, "Oh shit! How do you know my name is Jeff? Fuck! Everyone <laughs> now knows I like penis. Oh no! Not again! It's high school all over again. <laughs> it's high school all over again. 
just shit his ass. So what have you been up to, Tom? Uh, I've been up to fucking working. Oh man, same here. Yeah, and playing a really good game. But it's all right. What game is that? Let it die. Let it die. Yeah, it's a good game. Talked about it last week, but I got more in depth with it uh, this week. Uh, I like it. I just don't like how they didn't tell you. So you get more fighters in the game. Okay. And uh, that goes to your PvP shit. So you need to defend your base uh, defend from your, attack. Defend your, your base. Your waiting room. Sorry, the way that place that you start off in. Really, you get. Yeah. You have to defend it. Yeah, you have to defend it. So whenever you're out going um, through the levels and shit, uh, your base. I mean, your waiting room can just be attacked out of nowhere. Oh. And uh, you have to have pretty strong characters. But what they failed to tell me is that hey. You might not, every time you get a new space, you might want to wait after level 10, because that's when you get stronger guys, because everyone caps at level 25. Until really? you, Yeah, until you buy the stronger guys, everyone caps at 25. And I'm like, well, shit, now I have, like, five slots of, like, level 25, five level 25 characters, and, like, everyone's just tearing ass through them, so. Meanwhile, there's people who fucking already beaten the game, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll just huh. go fuck myself. But other than that, I mean, I I still love this game. I'm I'm gonna put more time into it. Probably Man, during if the you weekends. think if you like this game, you should play Dark Souls. What? I'm I've serious. never heard of that game. Okay, so Dark Souls is a uh, game named made by From Software. Who's from? Uh, the, oh, the guys who made it, not Ace Combat. Fuck, what's that game? That tank, that mecha game. Um. Oh, I know. I can't think of the name for that either. It's not Ace Combat. M- Mech Warrior? Uh, did they make Mech Warrior? They they made fucking let's see, Armored Core. Armored Core, where patches originally came from. Yeah. Oh my god, they made made quite a bit of games. Yeah. They made stuff other than Dark Souls and Demon Souls. Uh, I what? know, right? The, the King Kingsfield? What the fuck is Kingsfield? No idea. It's a first person role playing game. Yeah. It made back in 94. Holy shit. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. But I I, I, don't, I think I like Dark Souls, but it's just like, I don't know. I, I, I like I like the Bloodborne a lot better. Well, and this kind of kingdoms. feels like Bloodborne. Huh. So It feels like Bloodborne? Slower Bloodborne. Slower. Yeah, but th- thing with, thing with, uh, when I played it, the the initial impression I got was that it was like a more janky <coughs> Dark Souls because yeah. like w- sh- sure like the combat in Dark Souls f- feels a bit jank but it also feels good like you can make sense out of it and it's like uh, there's like ways you can like make it work for for this I, I, I don't know like the only the, the thing i didn't like either too and i get why they did it it's a free to play game they have to make their way to make the game hard completable uh without any microtransactions if you're good so they have this thing where your items have durability on them yeah and... that's a that's a very common roguelike feature yeah i mean i don't know i would have liked if they had like dark souls where it was again i just wish i could have just paid for this fucking game um like if they just had more levels and just a higher durability for your weapons but you can just craft weapons and they have higher durability on them but yeah like the stuff you find in the in the levels i have like shit durability yeah but like if you find a blueprint for stuff that'll be like full durability and it lasts a bit longer yeah and then they're a bit stronger yeah, and um, you can you can do stuff to upgrade your bank, and that's what the whole PvP stuff in that same area. It's like, hey, you can upgrade your bank, and you can upgrade your like soul bank, or you have all your stuff to. What that blue currency is used for is is for upgrading stuff in your waiting room. Nice. So, so it upgrades how many people you have in your freezer, uh, which is the fighters that you can use. How many people you can, because you can actually get that blue um, energy 
from captured characters that you get in PvP. So, like, you can go to someone else's waiting room and you can take one of their fighters, hold them for ransom, and while they're in your bathroom, like, tied up and shit, they generate more of that uh, currency, which is pretty cool. Hmm. And depending how strong they are, it, it generates more currency or less currency per second. So you can just be out doing what you need to do for a couple of hours and come back and you may have like enough to get a new upgrade for your whatever, which is pretty cool. I mean, I like that. Um, and the thing I didn't know, again, it's just like the thing of not knowing that your character's cap at 25 and there's no way of getting that specific character higher than 25. Hmm. So you have to keep, you have to manage your freezer space. So what I would recommend people playing this game is don't fucking go crazy uh, getting a bunch of characters. Just get like one or, just get three at max. And then everything else after that, just get higher tier characters. Because I think you can have up to 16 characters, fighters. And the cool thing about that is that they're in your freezer. You can send them to defend your base. You can send them out to other people's games and if they kill them in game they just take some of their shit and take some of their money which is pretty cool wait from software made in Shannon arms that was a that was a good game yeah it was a real good game yeah they made they made a fuck ton of games dude it's just like it's just like when you find out what blizzard make in the past it's just like oh, okay. oh they made ninja blade that was qt the video game oh man yeah it's uh but yeah fucking let die go play it I've pl- I, that's basically that and Overwatch is what I've been playing. So they made Monster Hunter Diary. They also made a spin-off installment in the Monster Hunter series. Mobile Suit Gundam. <laughs> Mobile Suit Gundam Unicron. I don't know what that is. We don't have a resident. Uh I don't I don't know what this is either. It's only for Yapon, so Is it? Yeah. Based on the first three episodes of the anime adaption of Mobile Suit Gundam Unicron. Fuck. Why? Why just the first three episodes? I don't know. It's kind of epi- dumb. How many episodes did it have? I don't know. Uh, anime adaptation. Uh, it has seven. like a shit ton of episodes. Seven, but still. <laughs> it had a shit ton. Seven, but you know. It's still... And then it had like a, a spinoff. Or like a a sequel series that oh wow that actually had twenty two. Let's talk about how Gundam is dumb. Uh, Gundam's I, dumb. Uh, I, the only Gundam I watched was SG Gundam, which was the Chibi Gundams. That's that SD had person- Gundam. SD Gundam, which was the chi- Chibi Gundams. And they yeah. had like character traits, like they yeah. were actually characters instead of just robots. Yeah, and, I and they actually it. fought instead yeah. of just sit there the whole fucking time talking about space politics. But that's what the game is, though. It's or that's what the show is about. It's about politics. I don't know. I like Gunbuster, like, and they fucking like fought that, the whole goddamn time. It's like that one anime series that Fred recommended last time. <sighs> I actually watched the first episode of that, and it wasn't terrible. What anime? It was, was it? just. Uh, oh, was it that uh, one with the titties? Yeah. Oh man. The one with the titties and the war politics or uh, war. War economics. Tit politics. Mao Ma- Ma- Mao Mao Yu. Mao Yu. Mao Yu Mayosha. Mao Yu. Man, that like there's so many frames in here like, to animation. It's like dude. The first episode is just like I have come to slay you, Demon, <clears throat> and Demon King's like, I'm actually woman and I'm in love with you despite just meeting you for the first time. What's that one anime? I keep seeing floating around where there's like a then, skeleton guy. Skeleton warriors? Skeleton warriors. No, not again. No, the fucking da, da, skeleton da, 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 guy. Da, da, and the chick with the huge tits da, da, is like, fuck me, skeleton daddy. And skeleton daddy's like, no, man. I, I've got a boner. <laughs> ah, I've penis. no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, I see a lot of gifs of it and I see a lot of artists draw her. She's just like... I has, I like, do you tits. see I saw this like weird web or like this weird um art or drawing of like this skeleton and this chick. Mm. I'm just like okay this guy this chick's in love with the skeleton okay it's not the weirdest thing but it's I mean it's it's like it's not harmful it's not like it's grotesque it's just strange. She's just fucking the skeleton. 
Well, she's not fucking a skeleton. She's just in love with it. I don't. I don't understand. Well, I'm gonna look up skeleton anime. Skeleton okay. anime. That's a skeleton anime. Anime I'm look skeleton. For. What the f? Okay. Uh, anime skeleton. Over- Overlord? No. I is that. This? Wait. No. Is that is? I think it's Overlord. Uh. N- no. Uh, I think it is. Yeah, it's Overlord. What? Yeah. That can't be it. Yeah, because that, that's a chick. That's a chick with the horns and the boobs. Yeah, that's it. Chick from yeah, the oh. horns and boobs is Moyu. Moyu. No, look. Fucking look up Overlord anime. Okay, over I, Overlord anime. Yeah. Overlord. Shit. Well, go, go to- there's the novel series, and like there's the guy who looks like fucking Skeletor on steroids yeah. which doesn't make any sense but he's got like world of warcraft shoulder pads yeah is that what we're talking about yeah that is and, and, that and can't the, be what we're talking about the chick in the white is like she, she's like yo skeleton i want to bone you and he's like nah man i'm not see the thing is i haven't seen a chicken white yet wait look, hold up look hold up the hold fucking up images you images fucking butthole oh goodness that is a chick with horns and boobs yeah, oh my god, and then here's a picture of, of course, please touch me as much as you want, and that face looks like it's straight out of a hentai. Yeah, I told you. What the fuck is going on? I gotta watch this. Let me add this. Oh, fuck is my. this on Crunchyroll? Can I find this on Crunchyroll? No. Overlord. Because Crunchyroll's full of ass. Uh, I cannot, I cannot. I told you. I, I don't, I don't think. They're no. like, this, this anime is too edgy for me, so... Go fuck yourself. Well, I mean, they have drifters on there, and it's the most edgy. <laughs> no, that fucking dumbass magical girl anime is the edgy shit ever. Which one? That one that me and John keep talking about. <laughs> it's so oh. dumb. They basically, like, John was telling us this, and he's, there's a chick who's pregnant, and, like, they cut off her stomach. Oh, yeah. It's like, I'm actually preggers. Yeah, it's really dumb. Wait, f- wait the fuck? Hold the hold the fucking phone. It's being There's helped. a Persona Five anime, and no one fucking told me. I mean, it's bound to happen. So, <sighs> I, I mean, thing is, it might be like the Persona Four anime, and not be that good. It's all right. It was decent. Yeah, but it was supposed to be good because the game is good. Eh. Then there's Tiger Mask W, which is good. I have not watched any anime aside from that stupid Magical anime. Oh, not even JoJo? No, I'm waiting for that to finish. Then I'll watch it on one burst. Because I fucking read it already. And it's just like, okay, well, I know what happens. And I guess it's gratifying to see it, but I don't fucking know. I want to watch it all in one bit. I'm waiting for part five to be an anime, too, now. It's going to be an anime. But yeah. So what about you, Ryan? What'd you do this week, aside from work? I played Final Fantasy XV, like, Backstreet all Boys. day yesterday and today. Yeah, I do mean Backstreet Boys. You played as the Backstreet Boys every day? Yeah, it was, it's pretty great. Like, okay, so there, spoilers, I find Titan, and if you don't know what Titan is, it's one of the, I think it's one of the summons mm-hmm. in the Final Fantasy universe. Yeah. But the thing is, like, in Final Fantasy XV, like, there's this meteor that struck Earth, but, like, Titan catches it, and it's holding it from hitting the Earth. That's pretty dope. And so he pretty much goes into a coma holding it. And so when you go to, like, visit that, uh, he wakes up and he tries to wreck your shit. That's pretty awesome. Because Titan's apparently kind of a dick like that. It's pretty cool. And, uh, before do like, for whatever reason, Noctis suddenly becomes a little bitch tit, and is got annoying, and Glad- and Gladius is like, yo, you got, you know, being, like, th- the king's guard, he's like, yo, let's, let's be careful, and Gladius is like, oh, why are you being such a, being such a, and Gladius is like, look, alright, quit being a bitch, it's my job, okay, <laughs> fuck you, and then I'm like, so you could choose to be like, oh, whatever, or you could choose to go, all right, fine, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I chose, like, fine, I'm sorry. And, and like, he gives, like, this whole, like, all right, let's be real here. 
you're important to me because like we're we're buds, we're bros. And so he gives this like bro speech. And then when that was finished because I cho- chose to like yeah, I'm sorry option. It's like his speech has riled you up and now you get 50% more attack. And I was like, "Fuck nice. yeah." So it's like the little things like that that gets out of the game. It's nice. Cool. And then I go on a date with the, yeah. with that guy's sister. While on my way to getting married to this one chick. Nice. Because Noctis is a player, I guess. And then I watched anime. What anime did you watch? I watched... Well, today I watched Kaiju. Is that how you pronounce it? I got yelled at last time for pronouncing it wrong. Kaiju. Kichu. Ka- Kaijo. Can Kaijo. This fucking week's episode's weird. Oh, yeah? Like, like, there has to be, like, a point where it's like, yes, it's an anime about boobs bumping each... Bu- booby, boob and butt bump, bumping each other off of things. But, like, it just gets into, like, weird shit. I mean, uh, the whole concept is weird, and the whole concept is kind of like a meta-narrative on itself. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> they they had the, the chick that can, like, read... Pe- that can read people's... Um, like abilities kind of by like that. touching her, but yeah. touching them. Yeah. Thing is, like, apparently they like developed it a little bit more, and now she not only can she like memorize people's move sets, but she can also copy them. And then, like, to establish she's doing that copy move, they do like this wall of butts behind her, where like there are portals, and then butts stick out of the portals, and it's like, this is a bizarre look. Don't question it. it. It's like the it's like the weirdest fucking hentai I've ever seen. No, the weirdest fucking hentai is Euphoria. Kids, go listen. Go watch that right now. <laughs> no, it's really weird. No, then I watch Tiger Mask W. You get the boner by looking at a girl do something. Don't don't ask what. Find out yourself. Is it pooping? Yeah, it is. Oh. It, it's almost like a human centipede sort of thing. I think I it's, know what ta- what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's. Do they like connected by tubes and shit? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that gif. Mm. It's fucking weird. Yeah, that whole hentai is weird. It's basically battle royale but with sex. And it's fucking weird. Yeah. There's one part where the dude just is basically drowning a chick while fucking her. It's like, all right, that was terrible. <laughs> Continue <laughs> on to the next episode. I am uncomfortable. <laughs> Unzips pants. <laughs> it's like, I guess if it's here. Um, so how's Tiger Mask W going? <laughs> <laughs> Tiger Mask, uh, yeah, it's it's continuing the adventures of Tiger Mask U and is f- climbed to fight Yellow Yellow Dever. I love the English in anything. The now. English in this anime is top notch. Oh God. Love it. So much English. Red Corner! It's like... It's like Japan is such a treat when they give us English. Because, like, they know they're saying it wrong. Mr. But they do Christian. it with such passion. Like, God, the fucking... It's like... It's like... The, the, mm, it's prime English in this anime. It's like... Other anime doesn't even compare to this prime anime. It's like... A grade. I don't know, man. Oh, Prime. the English? In- English, yeah. Look, I'm telling you, look up that fucking magic. There's another magical anime that's really good this season. There's another one? I know, oh. right? It's almost like they make multiple ones every season. Um, No, this is one I'm watching. I forget what it's called, but it's it's basically a girl's like, she inherits a magical girl thing from her mom. It's pretty cool. I, I like it. Um, Best But the English in like... The first five minutes of the show is like, ooh, it's it's Japanese people trying to do British people. Oh mm. my god, it's beautiful, man. I'll have to look up. Why doesn't Jonathan have a British accent? Yeah, right. But I mean, no, it's uh, my favorite magical girl anime is um, I think it's called I Am a Zombie. I Am a Zombie. I think I've heard that. I think that's what it's called. I mean, I is it I'm zombie? Gonna... You mean? I think it's Is It Zombie. No. I Am Zombie. Oh. No. No, that's not it. No, don't go. I don't want that. Yeah, I think... Oh, yeah, it's I Am Zombie. 
Is this a zombie? Yeah, that's why I said fucking earlier. Is this a zombie? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You know, really? Kore wa zombie desuka. Whoa. Is this a zombie? I just clicked one picture and... Oh, wait, that's from... That's that's not from that. That's from fucking High School of the Dead. Oh, my God. That's a terrible anime. That is very bad. It starts off so good, and then it turns into heavy fan service, and it gets fucking stupid. Yeah. But in case you you don't know, uh, is this a zombie? Is an anime about a magical girl who accidentally kills a guy... And the only way to bring him back is to have the guy be a magical girl. And it's not its not that he transforms into a girl. No, 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 no. He stays a dude, huh. but he has the magical girl get up. And nice. it's really funny. That's awesome. And But the original magical girl uh, doesn't have her magical girl powers anymore because she had to give it to him in order to not have him die. Which it would be a bad thing. It would ruin her reputation. So it's like so that he's got to do magical girl heroin things. So it's like that one anime um, with the magical girl guys, which is really dumb. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll have to check that one out. I need to add that to my. I have too much anime that I need to watch. Everyone's telling me I should watch, like you, chime and watch Drifters. Drifters, that's a good anime. Uh, let's see. This week's episode of Drifters is pretty silly because it's got Count St. Germain and his entourage meeting the Drifters, and it's pretty silly. Oh, that's what I had. I Because I was looking at my fucking manga I need to read, and I need to finish the Talking Omatsumi san, which is basically about a girl who fucking is like, hey, you're my dad. And my mom's like, go with your dad. This is your dad. And he's an otaku. Oh, jeez. Eh, I like it. And and I'm sure shenanigans ensue. Yeah, basically. And that can only sound like a comedy. It's it's basically a better version of that fucking fuck my sister, she's an otaku chan. What the fuck is that anime called? I have fucking oh. Odaimo. Uh, yeah, that anime is boring. That anime is stupid. And not good. Like, I thought it was going to be, like... Th- Alright, so bear with me. Okay. I, I watched it, right? Raw. And I thought... Yeah, all of it, man. All the first... All the first season. Because there's a fucking second season. I didn't know that. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm bearing with you? It's... Oh, ah. Hmm. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> I didn't get it's it. It's unbearable. You son of a bitch. I will find you. I would go to Wisconsin, <laughs> take away your cheese. You, you would, you would freeze knowing yeah. people from Texas. You would yeah. literally turn into an ice cube. I would. Er, it's fifty degrees and it's cold. Uh. Yeah. It's Meanwhile, cold. it's in Wisconsin. It's like ten degrees, and I'm in shorts and no shirt right now. So cold. Actually, it's like seventy right now. Yeah, it's so cold. Yeah, it is. Oh, I lied. It's actually twenty-four. It's actually not as cold as it was yesterday. Anyways, that fucking that fucking anime is terrible. Don't watch it because it, it's like at the end where he's just like, "Oh, I want to fuck this one girl," and like you think he's gonna get with her, but at the end he's like, "No, I love my sister." It's like, what? no, stop. It's so bad. Don't watch it. Don't watch Oraimo. Even people say that because Kirino's pretty cute. The orange hair chick. I was like, oh man, she's pretty cute. I bought a figure of her. And now I regret having that figure. Yeah, I, I showed Tom a picture of uh, Iris, the the girl that I went on a date went with on uh, Final Fantasy fifteen. She's pretty cute. She, she's pretty cute. I, I, I'd take her on a date as well. Yeah. Especially the picture that I posted. She's got a cute little smile. Huh. So happy. Yeah. Nice. So... I'd take her out on a date. I, yeah. I'd watch a movie with her. I'd take her to see Mo- Mo- Moana. Yeah. Then I'd have a good asshole. time, maybe take her <clears throat> out to some dinner. Yeah, then hook her asshole. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so, we got this, Doc. Yeah? Oh, Should we do. We... Yeah, we could talk about stuff on it. Or uh, just... Spooderman. Yeah, I'm glad Uncle Ben's not dead again. 
Or he's they, dead and he just We don't, don't we don't it. have to see Uncle Ben die again. Well, I mean, they didn't they didn't show him not dead, or, but true. they didn't show him dead. I swear to god, if the fucking vulture kills <laughs> Uncle Ben, I will I will literally lose my shit. I will vulture. Like is that his name, right? The, the Spider-Man guy? The I have man. no idea. Is that is that the villain in this movie? I've no I've no idea. I guess I was it, figured it was like Green Goblin because that's all I know about uh, Spider Man. He kind of looks like Femto. The fucking suit looks like Femto, but from Berserk. I don't know. Yeah, it looks dumb. Let me, let me let's take a let's take a look here. Look up the vulture, Looking the vulture's costume. Uh, and... It is vulture. He's played by Michael Keaton. What? Yeah, Batman. Okay. Batman himself. And Hawkman. From look the up. Movie. Uh, Look up Femto from Berserk. And Robert Downey Jr., best movie ever. Yeah, well, I mean, he's Iron Man. He's Iron Man. Yeah, that's what they show <laughs> in the trailer. <laughs> he's Jewish now? Yeah, Iron Man. Iron Man. So, Soul Iron Man. Sal so, Iron Man. Soul Iron Man. <laughs> wow, the original design of uh, the Vulture looks pretty dumb. Yeah, he looks very dumb. Yeah, but I'm Some... so glad they, they made it look a little bit. Oh my god. Told you, it looks like Femto. I looked at another picture of Vulture. It looks even worse, because he looks like a crab instead of a Vulture. <laughs> Jimmy Natale's villain variant cover for The Amazing Spider-Man, number 623. Looks like a fucking crab. Crab people. Crab people. Yeah, but that's Spider-Man. I mean, if you like Marvel news, I guess. I this would have been more for Tori, but yeah. Spider-Man looks good. Hopefully Uncle Ben doesn't fucking die again. He will. Wait, let me look at the cast. Uh... Yeah, if it says Uncle Ben, I'm I'm not going to see it. Automatically not going to oh, see it. I see it. May Parker. Yeah. Flash <laughs> she's definitely Thompson. Dead. Everyone's getting all pissy that she's younger. Uh, Donald Glover. I just see Donald Glover. Okay. Yeah. Donald <laughs> is, Glover is, as is Donald, Glover. Is Donald Glover uh, just Dude. as himself? If Donald Glover was just like Miles Morales, oh my god, that would be better. Just kick Spider Man in the dick and just like, yo, I'm I'm the new Spider Man. <laughs> I'm Fucking so confused. It's just like Tom Holland as Peter Parker, Michael Keaton as Adrian Tomes, Donald Glover. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Be... They they don't list as anyone, it just lists Donald Glover. Yeah. It's just Donald Glover. It's just we have, as we have... Donald Glover. Yeah. So what? He okay. just, he just he's just in there. What if he's just like in there for like two seconds of the movie? Uh, he's just walking hey, by yo, the camera. Yo, what's up? Yeah, Spider Man. That's him. Spooter Man. Yeah, the Spooter Man down coming. There you go. All right. So uh, Guard, Guardians of the Galaxy two. That's a wait. Thing was too. was was yeah. Uncle Ben dead in the in that uh fucking Cap- in a Captain America movie? I didn't watch it. Uh, I gave up on Marvel movies after Deadpool because nothing can top it. Asked Tori, "Where is? Where are you, Tori?" So Captain America be, actually would actually be useful. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> God shade. <laughs> um. Yeah, Donald Glover. It's just Donald Glover's in there. Fucking go see it. Donald Glover's in. Oh there. my God! Telltale's making another another video game. It's Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh my yeah. God. Hopefully I mean, it won't be shit. Like, yeah, I was thinking. I was just thinking that when I saw the trailer, which didn't show anything but like headphones floating through space. Yep. And and it's just like, okay, this didn't show anything. Are, we, are you gonna actually update your shit there, Tim Tyler? <laughs> or are we just gonna get the same shit we've we've gotten? I'm, I'm just tired of like last time on the fucking. Yeah, and I'm really dead, tired of the fucking episodic skipping things. and. Uh, I'm really tired of the episodic things. Like, like I, I the I actually bought Tales of the Borderlands, and I bought the Telltale Game of Thrones game, and I played first episode of, of both of them, and I didn't play it anymore because yeah. I was I just didn't want to fucking wait for the next episodes, and I'm like, oh, I played the first episode, and I don't even fucking know. I don't it's, even fucking know. It's almost like episodic games shouldn't fucking exist. And if they do, they should come every once in a while, not every two months. Yeah. And they shouldn't make a fucking promise 
Like, yeah. oh yeah, guys, it'll be up uh, in two months. Uh, two months come around. Uh, yeah, it's not fucking here. Okay, fucking like, and, and they've they've had some shitters like Back to the Future. <coughs> fucking that was actually good though. Mm, I'm I wasn't a big fan. It's their Jurassic the Park game that was dumb. Yeah, Jurassic Park is dumb. I have those games. I just never because I, I bought it the the Telltale Humble Bundle. Yeah. Because as I was like, eh, I don't have any of these games on PC. I have them on my Xbox, but not on PC. So, and I was gonna do stream with my sisters, but they could never find any time to be free. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, I, I ended up playing Jurassic Park the game for like ten minutes, and I was like, ah, no, this is not for me. This is this is bad. It's like at least like people compare these to like David Cage's games, and it's like, well, at least David Cage finishes a game. Even if it is a speed steam pile of garbage, mm. it's, at least it's complete. Strong Bad wasn't that bad, though. I like Strong Bad. Strong Bad's awesome game for attractive people. Yeah. Yeah, man. Homestar Runner. If kids had... There are some kids who don't know. Homestar Runner's a thing. Go look it up. Yeah. First oh, episode's made in fucking Mario Paint. Oh, my God. Was it really? Yeah, Mario Paint on the SNES. Wow. Crazy. Didn't the, didn't the guy that made Homestar Runner went on to make like some Disney Junior show? No idea. Homestar uh, Runner, the Disney Junior show. Yeah, Home Homestar Runner. Yeah, hold on. Created by Mike and Matt Chapman, and also the brothers Chaffs. They yeah. they went on to the Aquabats. Re- they did the Aqua really. Oh, that's right. They made a Gravity Falls. Wait, what? They, yeah. they worked on Gravity Falls. They worked for Disney Channel animated series Gravity Falls. Huh. And the hub live action series The Aquabats Super Show. Because The Aquabats is a fucking great show. It, it, it being a kid show, Matt, a lot of the songs are great. Matt, the primary voice actor for Arm Star Runner, he worked as writer and director for Yo Gabba Gabba. That's what it was. Yo Gabba Gabba's? Mm. Not that bad of a show. Yeah, it's a it's not that bad of a kid show. show. Yeah, it's a children's show though. So yeah, I mean, there's some children's shows that look are good, but mm. yeah. Uh, but that's uh, what are we talking about? Telltale, yeah, Telltale's terrible. Telltale. I guess well, get excited for Guardians of the Galaxy if you like that. They're but don't they're not really terrible. Excited. They just need to actually improve their shit. Yeah, I mean, because we've seen Don't Nod do fucking um, hipster video game the fuck life is strange that was it was a lot was, better than than that any was of the ubisoft telltale. no don't not don't not studios is the one who made it but ubisoft made mm. it, um funded it but not they didn't actually make it it was don't not mm. studios yeah. yeah telltale needs to update their shit and if they don't update their shit for this game it's it's just not gonna go well for them i don't think yeah but people are still gonna eat it up maybe telltale I don't think the ceiling has hit the mainstream yet. The, the ceiling has hit people who play these games, like, religiously. I don't think it's hit for people who, like, oh, I'll play this when it comes out, maybe. No. It's all about that Nep Nep game. Oh, man, Nep Nep looks so good. I can't wait to play it. Uh, Tamsoft, the guys who make, uh, are dev for fucking Senran Kagura, are making another Nep Nep game. Uh, for the PS4, it looks good. It's yep. like it's instead of it being set in the world of Neb Neb, it's going to be like in the world of Neb Neb as an RPG, which well, looks I mean, pretty neato. I mean, Neptunia or, or Hyperdimension Neptunia was is an RPG game. But well, this it's... is more of an like a hack and slash RPG. Yeah. It, they they made um Neptune Happy Dimension Neptune U, which is actually a really good Neptunia game. Is it? Yeah, and surprisingly not on the Wii U, because it's yeah because it's Hyper Dimension Neptunia U. I mean, yeah, it's I don't know. It, it's, no, it's a, no one would no one would get it because the Wii U's dead. That's true, and nobody would double get it because it's a Nep Nep game. Yeah. Um. Speaking of Sunrun Kagura. That game looks good. The new game they're, looks they're, good. Uh, Senran and Kagura Peach, Peach Beach, Beach Splash. It's like where it's like it's Splatoon, Splatoon and if there was titties. Splatoon, Vanquish, and titties. It looks good. It's it's like 
send the the guys at Tamsoft, man. They make they they nobody wants to play their games because there's a bunch of titties in it. But so every every single person I know who's played a Senran Cogger game fucking loves it. Because it's, it's, so t- it's so much titties. It's so much titties, but I mean, like, when you break it down to the mechanics of the game, it's it's actually solid, you know? Plays a bit like a character action game, so... So much titties. Yeah, there's a lot of titties in there. Fucking... The rhythm game was pretty good. I liked it, the uh, fucking... The, I'm, I'm better at cooking than you are, so you can try and remove your clothes. Was it Senran Kagura versus Battle or something like that? Um, Yeah. It's it's they have good writing and just fucking go play a Center and Cogger game. Just play one and you'll see what I'm talking about. I get it. There's creepy titties everywhere, but fucking go play it. And this one looks good. This one looks real good. Fucking water guns and big combo. Do combo. Yeah. Yep. So there we if you kids watch the Jimmy Fallon which I watched only for this one time. Uh, Mr. Reggie fils president of Nintendo. My body is Reggie. Yeah, Mr. Reggie himself, president of Nintendo of America. And Mr. Shigeru Miyamoto. Uh, I think he's he's not president. He's like fucking... He was crazy. in the crowd. He was in the crowd there. Hmm. That's pretty neat. They played Super Mario Run, which looks fun. It's like a mobile game. Nintendo... It's, it's, it's a... It's a... Bolt. <laughs> yeah, it looks all right, and they're demoing it at Best Buy. I mean, not Best Buy at um, Apple Store. At the Apple Store now, so worldwide. Yeah, so go fucking play it. Uh, I didn't see the Nintendo Switch <clears throat> because they were playing uh, Legend of Zelda on there, and I don't. I'm going media blackout on that. So I mean, it's a Switch. The Switch looks good still. Switch. I'm I'm waiting for that shit. I hope I hope it's good. I really hope it's good too, cause the I think the Wii money is I don't know that Wii money hole that they have from all the sales from the Wii is pretty big. I don't know. Nintendo can be the like Wii U money hole. That that's not a hole. That's like a puddle, man. Oh, <laughs> I thought you meant like a hole, as in like there's nothing there. No, well, no, the fucking amount of money that they made with the Wii. Yeah, it's like a huge. But then hole. they lost it all with the Wii U. Nah, I don't think they did. I think they're still it's fucking. Pretty, it was pretty bad. I mean, when your system sells out for like six months, and yeah, people are, are just keep buying it every single day, like when the Wii came. Do you remember that? Like, people couldn't get Wiis for like six months. Yeah, I remember. It's fucking nuts, man. And then when they do produce any amount of it, they made all their money back. Nuts, man. Uh, it's the same thing with this fucking uh, uh, NES box that they have, and people want that shit. I don't, I don't see why. It's cool, but like, I don't know. Just Nintendo. so they can have it. Yeah, I mean, it's a cool little collector's thing. But I mean, if they had like a SNES one, I think I'd buy that one more. And yeah, only... me too. Yeah, I really wish that you can just put emulators on that. That'd be kind of cool to have like a box for emulators. Ooh, they, you... they they do have that. It's called the Xbox. Uh, yeah, yeah. The hey. Dreamcast. Oh, Dreamcast is like the Dreamcast is. It's laughably easy to mod. I mean, fucking put games on that shit. Yeah. It's like what the fuck were you thinking, Sega? Uh, uh, no, we don't have any money in this fucking Dreamcast shit. Sega to Sensuro. That's what they were thinking. Yeah. Speaking I'm of Sega Speaking of esports. Speaking of esports. <laughs> Speaking of Will Ferrell play, being an esports pro. Yeah, you remember e- Will Ferrell? He's been in all the esports recently, right? That's why no. they're making an esports movie with him, right? Uh, are they? Yeah, they're oh making. Boy. Will Ferrell is a star of a pro gamer esports movie. Oh man. You know, I'm glad that in, uh, that ESPN is embracing the esports shit, but we don't need this, man. Like, w- I mean, I would like a documentary about a fucking Korean esports team. That'd be fine. I'd 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 work with that. But like, you know, Will Ferrell, it's gonna be like, ugh, fucking, I'm a elite gamer, f- fucking, hashtag kill streak, 
Call of Duty MOBA. Yep. It's going to be dumb. Don't go watch it, kids. Mm-hmm. Don't be tricked. Will Ferrell's a terrible actor. It's not a terrible actor. Eh. I didn't like Elf. I didn't like Elf either. Elf I like Inkerman. I mean, I don't know. I like, uh, like what's his face I like better. the idea of Step Brothers. Yeah, the idea was nice. It was an executed port. It's got it was... some good memes. Yeah. Oh, man, hold up. What? Hey... The people that made are are g- apparently Gary Gary Sanchez Productions is going to be uh, a part of this. Well, who's Gary yeah, Sanchez? Well, it's just the name of it. The founders of the uh, of these of this uh, movie company crew is actually Will Ferrell. Really? So I guess that makes sense. Yeah, but apparently uh, these guys. Uh, <laughs> co-produced Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, which was a fantastic movie. <laughs> yeah, so there's our hope for that movie. Oh, man, that game was so bad it was good. Esports, we e-sports. want to be taken seriously. I mean, so we're going to make a movie with Will Ferrell. Yeah. After her, fucking... it's, it's like... It's like oh. fucking, fucking league tournaments turn out more people than the Super Bowl. I don't know. <sighs> and and fucking Evo was on ESPN and people were angry about it. Go eat a people dick. People were angry and then they watched it and they were like, actually, I'm getting into this. Yeah, the fucking one sportscaster was like, yo, video games? Fucking esports? Fucking fight games? Yo, get in there. God. I fucking love fighting games, man. Speaking of fighting games. Um... Chinese law is passed. It's not a fighting game. <laughs> China's not a fighting game. Nothing to do with fighting games. <laughs> well, I tried to transition it from to Overwatch, and then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to even try. Oh, wait. Overwatch is becoming a big eSport, and you know what? Blizzard is like, hey, we know you like that Halloween Witch Mercy skin. Let's make a Christmas event. And it's like, okay. Are we going to have sexy uh, Santa Mercy now? L- what I want is my is my dream. Is and sexy for, Santa Widowmaker? Is what I want. And is sexy for Santa Symmetra? Every and se- sexy Santa... <laughs> um, uh, the fucking... The, 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 Tracer. The, 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 well, Tracer. And sexy Santa... Lucio. Farrow. Sexy Santa Lucio, he just has like a speedo on and a Santa hat. Mm. And sexy Santa. Santa. Fucking. Torbjorn. No, I can't think of her name. The Mexican one. Sombra. Sombra. Reaper. Actually, <laughs> Reaper. Sexy, sexy Santa Reaper. Wow. Okay. Blizzard, we, get on we've that. Gone there. I I just want every character to be like a sexy Santa. Yeah, a sexy Santa or one of the reindeer, because that'd be pretty smart. Torbjorn? No, not Torbjorn. Torbjorn's got to be Torbjorn and, and sexy Reinhardt. Santa Roadhog. Yeah, sexy. You know what? I'm not sexy gonna argue Santa Junkrat. Mm, he's very skinny for a Santa. Also, he'll he's be, six. Foot he'll seven. be an elf then. Yo, Roadhog and fucking Junkrat, Santa and the elf. There you go. Done. Blizzard, give Done. us. You know what? You Done. know, fuck it. Blizzard, free. Free. You can have that one. You can have, you that have one. this one. Next one won't come free. Yeah. Tracer is Dasher. Lucio is Dancer. Wait, hold on. I'm getting a phone call. All right. Yeah? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, hi, Blizzard. How's is it, it going? Is it Jimmy Blizzard himself, the owner of Blizzard? Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, they said they already came up with that. Oh, man. Shit. Well, tell Jeff Kaplan to work on the load times. Jeff it? Kaplan. Yeah. That's his name. I almost said Mets, and I was like, wait, shit, he doesn't work there anymore. Yeah. That looks pretty cool to look forward to, so get hyped for that, I guess, if you like Overwatch. Which I do. Yeah, I do. Even though I haven't played it in quite a while. Yeah, and the last time you did, you got at least three inches of dick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> at least three inches. <laughs> Amazing. At most six. At most six. Speaking of showing your boners, uh, the Chinese law, <laughs> Chinese law Go passed on. for video game companies to reveal their boners, aka the percentages of what you'll get in a loot box <clears throat> and how rare they are. So it's hmm. like you can't really hide what 
you know, how much the money hole you're going to get into. It's like, oh, well, it's a 20% chance that you'll get a rare or there's a 15% chance that you get this or this or that. So Chinese law is like, hey, man, show us that shit and let it be known to the public. So that's pretty dope. <clears throat> yeah. And Korea is also doing that. Uh, hackers will get perma banned and also jail time. That's good. And people who make hacking software will be perma banned and instant jail time in Korea, though. Oh. Yeah. But they're the ones who fucking aimbot the most. Like, there's a Twitch stream I was watching with uh, Seagull. He's a really good Genji player. Um, I-, I thought he doesn't play Genji anymore. Yeah, he still plays Genji. Oh, okay. He plays. Is he a pro- he, he, goes is he from, a pro Genji. He's the he's fucking a really pro Genji. See, is, is that a pro Genji? He's the proest of Genji. When people talk about pro Genji, he's probably talking about Seagull. Um, he plays Mei too. He really likes Mei and and Genji, which is an odd combination to to main. But then again, I like Toy Buren and Lucio. I'm I'm that scumbag. Um, but yeah, that looks really good. I mean, that looks. God, I'm. <laughs> that I'm, looks really good. I've been drinking, dude. I've been like, honestly, I've been drinking a lot today. You got I it. Huh? You got a problem? Sort of, I guess. I mean, it wasn't like in when I used to work at my other job. I would just get hammered every day. That's not healthy it's, at all. It's not. Donate if you have uh, any questions for us, or if you have a liver donation that you need to give me. Uh, put it in the comments below. And uh, maybe we'll get... liver donation in the comments below. Yeah, we'll get right to it. <laughs> Donate your liver to at Tom Hypestar on Twitter. I'll send you dick pics to jlopez at <laughs> gmail dot com. Did you really just give a fucking John's email address? That's not actually his email address. Oh, he uses he still uses AOL. Really? Yeah. Amazing, John. What I the fuck know. is wrong with you? Come to 2014. Come to 2005, 2000, man. AOL in 2016. Lol. Oh, man. It's just like those people who... Have you ever seen those videos where people actually use those free internet startup disk? Wow. Yeah. God, the internet was so dumb back then. So dumb. Yeah, fuck you, internet, in the past. Screw you, past internet. Yeah, screw you, anyone living in the past. Oh, wait, they're saying fuck you, living in the future. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. They're all like, huh, you have Trump as a president, huh? I mean, to be fair, they had Reagan as a president at one point. Yeah, but Reagan's more respectable. Yeah, that's true. But they he had was an Nixon, actor though. at one point. They had Nixon, though. Yeah. But they also so, had Kennedy. Ha, suck it, past. And they had Clinton. Damn it, they had the best president. They had the best. No. Clinton just got his dick sucked. Who cares? Who cares? Jesus, this is At least he didn't have Russia help him win presidency. I... You know what? You know what else is terrible? What? Kingdom Hearts 3 is not getting fucking released because they made a fucking PS4. Fucking release Kingdom Hearts 3 already. God damn it. Kingdom Hearts 15th anniversary I don't give a fucking shit. It looks... Eh? It looks like a fucking purse. Yeah. It looks terrible. Yeah. Fuck you, Square Enix. God damn it. I just want to finish that it game. A, is it a regular PS4? It, I think it's just a regular PS4. They have like one for 500 gigs and they have one for a terabyte. <clears throat> Who fucking cares? It's not even a pro. Ugh. Ryan, how do we end this episode? Ah. Uh... There you go. That's how we end it. It's just a big sigh of disappointment. That that's basically the mantra of Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's Dungeon. Loud sigh of disappointment. Loud sigh of disappointment. All right. So since we did this the last time, uh, go check out Fred Wood at That's check My out Trunks. Fred Wood at That's My Trunks. Uh, shout he out made, to Fred. He made he made a a, a petition to have Uita. HD collection on PS4. Fucking go sign it, I guess. I guess. Maybe we'll put it in the description. I don't know. Maybe. What's this wee bullshit? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Well maybe you'll put it in the description. I don't know. There we go. Uh fucking go check out Mother's Basement. He's a pretty cool dude. I saw that episode with Wooly. 
Oh yeah, the Naruto to. one. Yeah. Yeah. There was some echoing in that episode. Yeah. Fix that. Jeff Thu, you're a pretty cool dude, though. I think that's his name, Jeff Thu. Oh. He's a cool guy. Uh, go go watch Super Best Friends. Yeah, those guys are amazing. What What are they doing? What are they doing? Aside from playing the fucking shittiest game in the world, <laughs> Omicron the Nomad the Soul. World, Omicron, the Look, Nomad Soul. I have they're a copy. Ac- they're going actually insane playing that. It's I awesome. have a copy of Tomb Raider The Last Revelation wow. for PC made by IDOS Software. Fucking on the back of it, there's an Omicron the Nomad Soul ad. Still, Fuck! still playing Silent Hill 3. They're still playing That's Mega Man game. X Command Mission. That's also an okay game. They released a video on Machinima. The Final, um, Fantasy, Final Fantasy 15. 15. And they're playing Sonic the Hedgehog Unleashed. Yep. Wow. Uh, also watch Jesse Cox. Shout out to Jesse, Jesse Cox. Jesse Cox. I hope he's at PAX South. Yeah. I hope he is I'll too. I'll watch the shit out of him. I will watch the shit out of him. Go to his autograph session. Have him sign my Dick. copy of Final Fantasy XV Deluxe Edition. Yeah. On the steel case. I would I would have him do that. I'll have Crendor do it too if he's there. Because Crendor's cool. He is. He does a lot of stuff. I'm to him on Twitch. I'm the free Amazon Prime thing. Isn't his like subs only like two ninety nine though? Isn't he like the? Ch- I think he's the Jesse only Jesse Cox. Jesse Cox is the only one that has two ninety nine subs only once. That used to be a thing way back in the day in Twitch where you could do like one time subs as low as two ninety nine huh. or like five uh five dollar subs monthly. That used to be a choice. Nice. And Jesse Cox is actually the only one. Who still has the low price only once option. Amazing. And if you sub to him with Amazon Prime, you don't need to reuse your Prime uh, sub on him again. Nice. So you can sub to him for a month on Amazon Prime and then sub to someone else the next month. Awesome. Shout out to Lieutenant still A. Have, he probably has like one of the best uh, emotes on Twitch. Uh... He's got an emote of salt, porn, assault. Uh, porn salt. That's oh. how salty it is. Uh. The only thing is, Crendor has the best chair emote, and it's just a chair with the Crendor face, and it's fucking adorable. It's like if um, Putt Putt was a chair. Chair chair. <laughs> I don't know why that got me. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, right? <coughs> I don't know why that got me. <laughs> Let's see, uh, fucking... Who Lieutenant else? Eddie. I started watching Critical Role. So fucking let them. me talk about Lieutenant Eddie, God damn it! Lieutenant Eddie, I had a conversation with him, and he said, I hurt you. That man is, uh, that man is really nice. He's super cool. He's Canadian, that's why. Yeah. I, I, I had a game with Geek one time. That was fun. And you were all like, oh, is this really Geek? And you are like... And then he know. didn't respond, and then he just left, and I was like, okay. I started crying. Oh. Uh, shout out to Critical Role, Matt Mercer. You're still a beautiful human being. He's a beautiful being with a beautiful voice, and the cast of there is other voice actors such as Travis Willingham, definitely on my top five uh, voice actors. Uh, and Laura Bailey, who is in every single thing in existence requiring a female voice actor. Shout out to John, who uh, fucking lied to us and said that Matt Mercer was Fred Wood's uh roommate yeah that was actually jeff grill yeah Greel. shout out to jeff grill wherever he is in shout the world to jeff grill probably doing voice acting yeah he did armin he did uh kenichi in the world's greatest disciple oh huh. one of my top five anime f- favorite animes really yeah. kenichi yeah he was kenichi world's greatest is one of your favorite animes yeah oh huh. i didn't know that yeah top five Wow. Number one's actually Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I will watch that shit on repeat. I will watch Ninja Nonsense every day if I could. It's a good anime. Ninja Nonsense? Yeah, or 2x2 two two Shinobuden, as it's known in the Nippon. 2x2 two two Shinobuden? Yeah, because it's like a fucking pun or something. I don't know. What the fuck? 2x2 two two Shinobuden, two or by also two. known as Ninja yeah, Nonsense. Nonsense. Yeah, it's oh, I for- Yeah, it's it's it's... I saw it one time on on G four when they used to show anime. I remember that. Remember when G four was good? Yeah, good times. But their news was always a day late. 
Yeah, because it was on television, so, you know. It's true. Then, then once the uh, internet became the main source of video game news, like, oh, hey, we're covering E3 a week later, and then it's like, oh, I already watched this shit, like, the day of, because of... Like uh, IGN. Internet. Yeah. No, actually, I was, for me, it was actually Total Biscuit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, shout out to, to those Total folks. Biscuit. Yeah, shout out to Total Biscuit. He's a uh, he's a guy that made me more in into learning about the video game industry and how Shout fucked out it to, is. To uh, Hyun's Dojo, who is where you can find one minute melee, which is infinitely better than Death Battle now. Yeah. Their One Punch Man versus Superman episode is uh, top notch. Uh, who else can we shout out? Unlike that other source filmmaker, One Punch Man vs. Superman with the terrible voice acting. Yeah. And, like, the sprites from various video games, like fucking Mass Effect, and you could probably find some other bullshit in there. What's your favorite, like, sprite work in a game? My favorite sprite? In a game. Sprite work in a game. Because I think mine's always just going to be Final Fantasy VI. So that game holds up even now. Hmm. I think it would be like Mega Man X. Yeah, anything on the Super Nintendo was just good. Yeah. They they really know how to make like make shit work with the limited technology they had. Yeah. I wish they would figure out how to do that these days. Instead of just hmm. It, it's like I th- I think there was a there's a there was a quote that the best friends had said, but I mean there's there's shitty games back then, but there was a lot more good games back then. Yeah, and it's just like now since there's been like a, a standard for those old games. I think I don't think actually I don't think that's the case. I think that there was just the amount of bad games back then as there were today. Yeah. But the thing is, back then it, we didn't have the internet, so we like we we didn't know how. We only know what knew what was good. Like everyone knew Mario was good. Everyone yeah. knew that Final Fantasy was good back in the day, and so like oh, like news magazines Whoa. will have like fucking yeah, Final Fantasy great. Let's play Final Fantasy. But like they magazines is like the source of information for video games. They won't post bullshit yeah you won't find like some fucking bullshit glitch uh, in like some no, game you nowadays won't, you, or... won't, you won't find some bullshit uh chip and dale for the super nintendo ripoff that's on the sure. game boy which is a game that my little brother had that was that my mom found for like three bucks once and then i'm tried playing it was like this is god awful like you won't find that list in video games because they no one would fucking want to know about that. They would only want to know that Final Fantasy Four is the best damn game in existence. Yeah, I agree with you on that. So, I think there was just as much, but nobody knew about them. That's true. Like it wasn't known nowadays. Like you, people, if there's a game out there that's bad, er, if someone will tell everyone. It's true. Like, everyone knows that fucking... No Man's Sky uh, is no the Man's most Sky. recent one. Oh, apparently it's somewhat good now. <clears throat> yeah. The latest patch that they didn't tell anyone that they were making. They added the base building and all that shit. It added, like, the majority of shit they promised that would be in the game to begin with, so... Yeah, I mean... Don't know why they didn't put it in there to begin with, but... You basically you paid know. for a $60 early access game. Uh, which is now thirty dollars now. Which, if you want to get that game, I guess now that's the right price. I don't really access games. I'm sick of. I'm sick of the early access thing. I think the only early access game I ever played was. Oh no, I played two now since I played Divinity, and um, what's it called? The Forest. Those are the only two early access games me, I've ever played. For me, it was played. Ark Survival Evolved. I yeah. put almost. I put over 2,000 hours into that game. Jesus Christ, man. What's wrong with yeah. you? <laughs> I was a part of a role-playing community, which I don't want to talk about anymore. Oof. <sighs> that, that. Did you, oh. you role-play as someone's daddy, dinosaur daddy? No. I, don't <laughs> want to, I really don't want to talk about it. 
Like, it's not even, like, something I'm ashamed of. It's just that I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. It's just like that Naruto Bullshit. RP server I joined in AOL when I was a kid. And I used to use MS Paint to paint Sharingans on my eyes. And those pictures are still on a hard drive somewhere in my room. And I refuse to fucking pull them out. You're such a fucking weeb. Yeah. I mean, I showed you fuckboy, Tom. Imagine that with Sharingan eyes. I was never like that bad. Like, oh, man. You did, you know, I, I'm so... You again, I, Tom? 23. 23. I, well, I'm, I'm glad... I'm glad I didn't have internet access from the ages of 13 to 17. Because I probably would have done some cringy shit. Like, I was that into Naruto, and I was that into, like, I was, Love Hina. I wasn't aware of, like, that shit back in the day. Like, I wasn't aware of, Dude, like, hardcore fandoms back in the day. I was, I was one camcorder and a internet connection away from, like, doing idol idol dances to like naruto ops i'm not even joking wow i am so glad the first thing i did was trying to make a, a ball of kai energy in my room after seeing that episode oh of dragon ball z dude there's this guy i have to find this guy again um but me and my friend uh john are you the kind of fucking weeb that would try to pick a fight in someone and try to use ninjutsu no i would i would i'm not that i'm not that weebish and i was also a huge pussy so yeah. uh no but we found this guy me and my friend john um who oddly enough isn't the podcastman that you know today it wasn't we found this guy that like made a 14 minute 14 15 minute video of him like trying to knock over a can with like kai energy and i forget what this fucking guy's name is but we watched that video to like full and he's just doing the same thing over and over again and it's like oh and he doesn't do it he's like oh well i could i i just didn't couldn't use my energy today i used it already once before i don't know what this guy's name is but if i find it again i will post it on the facebook page because it's it's pretty bad he like had that finger thing that made his finger look like a claw you know what i'm talking about i think so that all goth kids have oh god them like them like finger na- fingertip claw things yeah but it's like the whole finger on his okay yeah you know, like it looks like the finger part of a gauntlet kind of looks like uh what's his face from uh fucking lucrezia what's his name god damn uh not vash from final vash fantasy the stampede from final fantasy uh one of the final fantasy games i think eight he has a call oh, hands vincent vincent there you go that's from seven seven oh, okay he was a vampire oh okay yep well guys i think i think it's about that time we call this episode to a close hey hey tom what's up Mary John Miss. Mary John. This is a John Miss without John. Eh. What? Well, no, next week is John. Next week is no uh, wait. Two weeks from now is John Miss. So yeah. So we we'll, we can we can have John back soon. Maybe we'll decide if we want him back or not. It's like Mary John Miss and just 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 edit in the dun 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 like jingle bell noises. I'd suck a fart out of John's ass. I'd suck. <laughs> I'd suck a fart out of John's ass. I don't think I would. I don't think anyone would. Good night and fuck well, Gundam. Some, I, someone would. Yeah. If you if you're yeah, a lucky lady yeah. that wants to suck a fart out of John's ass, fucking comment com- below. Comment below with your name, address, and phone and number. <laughs> send an email to Tom Hypestar. No. It's <laughs> not my email. At, at Ryan. Wisconsin. Don't look up Whitney, Wisconsin, though. She's fucking weird. She wants to fuck her dog. What? Yeah. Don't look up Whitney, Wisconsin. Don't do it, Ryan. <laughs> I. <laughs> Don't look up Whitney, Wisconsin. Oh my god, that's the second thing. <laughs> yeah. Wisconsin. Fucking Wisconsin. told you. She's a fucking porn star. She wants to fuck her dog. It's very bad. She has like this whole set of pictures. It's like, you know what? We're not going to get into that set of pictures. We're not going to get into it. I'll tell you after the video, right? <laughs> I will tell you after. Good night.